morning. It's daily light. It's another day. With the Lord. <laughs> and you know, I always have fun with that because it would be so easy to be without the Lord, meaning that didn't take the time or make the time to stop and see, wait and listen to find those moments when God is speaking and see where it is that he would have you to go today. For me, part of my time is right here because he wants me, for whatever reason, to sit down to read these. So he said, if you share them with other people, you'll sit down and do it. So, that's why Emotional has been so instrumental for me to help me to follow through with what I'm doing with God. How about you? What's the Lord doing with you? Abide in me and I in you. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I live, but Christ lives in me. In the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loves present with me, but how to perform that which is good, I find not. O wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me? If Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit is life because of righteousness. If ye continue in the faith, grounded and settled, and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel which you have heard, little children abide in me, that when he shall appear, we may have confidence, and not be ashamed of He that saith he abideth in him, ought himself also so to walk, even as he will. You know, that we hear the word abide so much, and everyone has in their own mind always a different perspective. You could take a dictionary and look it up, you could think about it and say abide is like, you know, abode where you live and abode is the living place, so abide means living with you. But you know, when someone abides with you, you are more than just living together because anyone can do that and as modern couples have done lots of times in living together, they get along for a while, but it's funny because as soon as they add that one extra commitment, if they're living together to be married, suddenly there's all these issues come up. <laughs> Should you live together before marriage? Of course not. Because when you live together, you simply exist and you allow for certain distances to happen, that you don't have to put up with the other person, you just put up with them, that you don't really share the fact that you're going to be with that person forever, and as soon as you begin to do that, you realize there's more to this marriage thing than just living together. There's more to abiding than just simply being together. Abiding means that you're going to exist on the same level of understanding with a person, and that you need to recognize that you should be on the same playing field because you're heading in the same direction and you're doing the work that God wants you to do. And more than likely, since you're abiding with Jesus, don't you want to do what he's doing? Don't you want to see what he's seeing? Hear what he's hearing? And that's what the Father means when he says abide. He wants you to know Jesus in such a way that when the Father looks at you as he does today, he sees Jesus, but then when he looks at you, he sees how close you are Son of God, who is he, Lord, that I might believe on him? 
the brightness of his glory and express image of his person. The blessed and only potentate, King of kings and Lord of lords, who only hath more immortality, dwelling in the light which no man can approach unto, whom no man has seen nor can see, to whom be honor and power everlasting. Amen. Amen. <laughs> it's A.M. and I'm amen for it. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, saith the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. Lord, I believe. I know whom I have believed, and I am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, elect, precious, and he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. Unto you, therefore, which believe, he is precious. Warnings are a good time to set your focus back on what is the root of who you are. What is the foundation that you lay that every day you know when you go to work, when you go on your way, when you walk, when you talk, when you are abiding, when you are doing anything at all. There's always something that keeps you going. What is it for you? Is it mandatory work that you have to provide for your family and that you, if you don't, you'll starve? Is that it? And yet God said, the birds of the field, they neither toil nor spin, and yet the Father takes care of them. Is the push that keeps you going throughout the day some caffeine that I don't have yet and I'm going to get in a minute? <laughs> and yet, if that wears out, guess what? What pushes you on? What keeps you going? What happens when you don't feel like doing it anymore? When you suddenly feel like life's miserable and there is no more reason to go on. But for some reason you have put all your stock and hope in some ministry and it's not there. Or some person and they failed you. Or even a wife or a husband and they divorced you. And they left you. Or your children and they've flown the coop or disappointed you. What keeps you going? What is the foundation that when everything is gone that you know you could hang on to? If you choose Jesus as that cornerstone, that personal friend, that foundation that will not be moved, then you know it's okay when you, your world gets rocked. When somebody rocks your world in a negative way and stones you in a really disgusting way and winds up causing you to lose your faith because Jesus said he will complete that which he began in you he will finish the work so the drive that keeps you going today should be Jesus you should take the time to know him to grow with him to allow him to fill you with the joy the peace the love the excitement that knowing he would never leave you nor forsake you to all others may. And in that light, you can do what it is that God would have you to do today. No matter how hard you go, or how fast you push, or where or what you want to do, He will be with you. Are you with Him? Choose this day to serve the Lord.